this video, I'm going to give you guys my honest review on some of the new high protein products that M&S came out with this year. And I thought, what better day to start than February 13th, Pancake Day. So we've gone all out. We are starting with the new high protein maple pancakes. Each pancake has eight grams of protein. Is that super high protein? I don't know if I would really consider it such, but we're going to give it a go anyway. One pancake has 147 calories. We are going to try a corner first without any other toppings, just so we can get a honest review on the pancake itself. Because I feel like once you've got all the yummy toppings on top, you can't really go wrong with pancakes. Okay. First impression, maple flavor definitely comes through. As you can see, they are quite thick and fluffy, a nice texture. And now with some toppings. Question is, would I buy these again? I think if I was having a lazy day and I knew I wanted pancakes and I couldn't be bothered making them myself, then yes, maybe. But to be honest, usually I just make my own protein pancakes using protein powder and oat flour. And I feel like I can bump up the protein a lot more myself. So lazy day, yes, would recommend. Otherwise, just make them yourself. Back again for dinner, courtesy of the reduced section. That will be a reoccurring theme in this video. So now we are trying the naked chicken katsu. This has 26 grams of protein and it is marinated chicken breast with diced cauliflower, edamame soybeans, green lentils, and a pot of curried mayonnaise dressing. Oh, that's nice. It's like a little bit mustardy. Taste test. I feel like they already do a katsu bowl. But maybe I'm remembering wrong. But this is good. Like I like that there's a lot of greens, there's a lot of veggies. It feels like a nice, fresh, balanced meal. Dinner today is another microwave meal and we are going for the pasta and meatballs. So this is beef and pork meatballs, pasta and a tomato sauce, 38 grams of protein and 424 calories. And it's quite high carb, 41 grams of carbs. Now, first impressions. I didn't realize when I picked it up, it doesn't have cheese. And I mean, I should have known because there actually is no cheese on the picture, but I don't know, something about having pasta without cheese, I feel like something's missing. I would have rathered maybe a little bit less pasta and some cheese on top. I mean, cheese is protein anyway, just because this doesn't, this doesn't feel right. They do a beef um, pasta in another M&S range. I can't remember what it's called. And that has cheese in it. And that is really nice. I don't know if the macros are as good, but... We'll see, let's compare. There is like a little bit of spinach in here. I think that's the only veg I'm seeing. Here. Mm. Right, I need one more bite. Mm. There's something I don't like about this and I'm pretty sure it's the pork in the meatballs. I much prefer just beef. I would definitely not buy this again and in fact I would recommend you just get the other one I was talking about. For dinner today I'm having another katsu curry, this time from the protein microwave range. Chicken katsu curry with cauliflower rice and katsu sauce, 42 grams of protein and only 384 calories. So that is decent. I think it's the cauliflower rice which is probably keeping the calories quite low. Nice selection of veggies which we like to see. I'd say a lot of protein in the edamame beans as well. Got a spoonful of everything and this is looking hot. <laughs> Let's do a taste test. This is definitely more like your normal katsu flavor. I think the salad kind of pot had a bit more of a mustardy taste to it. I feel like the katsu sauce in this is strong enough that it kind of, if you blend it in well, it kind of masks the cauliflower taste if you're not really a fan of cauliflower rice. So today we are doing the Thai green salmon microwave meal from their high protein range. So this is actually really good macros. Well, for protein anyway, 304 calories, 30 grams of protein. So that is decent, but it is only six grams of carbs. So it is kind of low carb. So it's Thai green salmon with cauliflower rice, broccoli, chili, and a Thai green sauce. First impression, you only get two little pieces of broccoli. I think I would have liked a little bit more, but let's give it a taste test. Flavor's good, the salmon's really nice. Only thing I will say is it needs more sauce. When I was kind of mixing everything together, I did notice that the ratio of like sauce to rice is a little bit off. So it is 
a little bit dry. I feel like maybe a couple extra spoonfuls of sauce would have been perfect. It would have made it a little bit more creamy. I just feel like I'm eating salmon, broccoli and rice. I'm really not tasting any of the nice like kind of Thai green sauce. Um, I mean, I'll still eat it. It's healthy, but yeah, I just wish there was a little bit more sauce. Please excuse my mess and laundry in the background. Today we are trying the 25 gram of protein strawberry yogurt. So yes, clearance section, of course. This is low fat strained yogurt with strawberry puree, live cultures with sweetener. So I love that there's live cultures in here. That means probiotics, so really good for gut health. And I am a fan of strawberry. So I am excited to give this a go, even though it does expire today. We'll risk it for the video. Please give it a thumbs up. M&S just gets it right every time when it comes to their desserts. 10 out of 10. It's so creamy. It's so smooth. The strawberry flavor is really nice. Today I'm trying the vanilla flavor of the high protein yogurt. I loved the strawberry one. So when I saw this was on reduced as well, I was like, I'm going to give it a go. And straight away I can see it's that exact same really thick creamy consistency. Let's hope the flavor is as nice. Definitely prefer the strawberry. I feel like it has a much richer flavor. You can even see the little brown specks from the vanilla pod. So they've used actual vanilla pod in here. So the ingredients is strained yogurt, water, corn flour, ground spent vanilla pods, flavorings, regulator, live cultures, etc. Sweetener is sucralose. Yogurts are just really good quality. They brought out some high protein bagels, which have 15 grams of protein versus nine grams in your regular plain bagel. I don't eat bagels that often, so I'm probably not the best person to compare them against other plain ones that I've tried, but honestly, they were good. I'm back with another M&S protein range taste test. Today we are going for the apple crumble overnight oats, and I am so excited because apple crumble overnight oats, a little bit of me. So this has 18 grams of protein. For me, this is more like a post-workout kind of protein carb snack. I don't think this would be substantial enough for me to eat as a meal. This has chia seeds, diced apple pieces, and a crumble topping. So that's what it's looking like. Let's give it a go. Oh my God. That is so good. Usually I'm not actually a fan of chia pudding, but mixed in with the oats, it totally works. So if you don't like chia pudding, but you do like overnight oats, I think you'll still like this. I'm back with another M&S high protein taste test. Thank you, clearance section. So this is the naked Vietnamese prawn, sesame chili king prawns, crunchy julienne vegetable noodles, and a chili lime and lemongrass dressing. So I don't know if I consider 22 grams that high protein, but it's also only 302 calories. So decent, my friends, if you are counting your calories. Let's get into this. Taste test. I love this. Really fresh. The sauce has like a nice little zest to it. I'm calorie counting at the moment, so this is perfect for me. 10 out of 10 recommend. Cheers. Before I on for my last TikTok, we have a taste test for the M&S protein range. So I picked up the chicken shawarma. This one is 37 grams of protein. Will my sensitive stomach regret the lentil tabbouleh later? Probably, but it was on clearance, so worth giving a go. Taste test. Very flavorsome. I love the onion. Is this something I would buy again? Probably not. This is like quite oily and heavy. Um, but if you're craving a chicken shawarma that like fits within your macros, then I would definitely recommend this. Thanks for watching.